Hello, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviani, and today we're going to be dealing with another demo called Caffeine Victoria's Legacy. And if I remember, it's probably a dating sim, but I figured. I mean, look at the title Caffeine. Get ready for some high caffeinated gameplay! Today's uh, random video game screenshot down here is from Skyrim. I realize um, there's really not a whole lot of ways to tell that because you can't see my character, but it's got the the little map uh, UI right there, so I figure why not. You know, you can probably tell, but either way, I appreciate the nice little sky along with my Argonian there. So, let's see, let's start up. Is that coffee you are pouring out? Yes, it is. What else could it be? Duh. She's wearing a much different outfit than I was thinking. She smiles at me. The lights were dim. Her cap covers her face under a shadow, so I cannot see her eyes properly. Still, you should be able to see something there. Coffee brewed with cold water in a cold brew bottle. Oh, no, that's still me. Coffee brewed with cold water in a cold brew bottle. Bought some bottled water and started brewing the coffee 12 hours ago. My God! It's a long flight, isn't it? All the way across the Pacific. After a good night's sleep, I can have a cup of cold brew coffee. How did they let you? Are you content with three ounces of coffee? Better than the swill they serve on the plane. You've been brewing that coffee for the past 12 hours? Yes, I have. I can't use the hot water on the plane to brew hot coffee. Do you know they use toilet water to serve coffee and tea? That's... I also want to say, toilet water is also the term for perfume, so... <laughs> and should toilet water makes my stomach swirl like a tornado. I gobble up whatever was trying to shoot out from my throat. Even finding the right bottled water was, one, was such a hassle. There were so many brands. I bought all of them, tasted them one by one. You they let you bring bottled water? Okay, this is definitely not taking place in the United States. Or over, you know, from a flight leaving the United States. <sighs> Most of them were terrible, too acidic, too sweet, too soft. Took me acidic water? Sweet water? I mean, if you put flavors in it, but, okay, soft water, I know what that is, but come on. Well, I want to find the perfect water for brewing my coffee. You can taste the difference. Come on. Of course I can. I can smell the minerals just by taking a sniff. I'm a barista, and water is the most important element in a cup of coffee. Add bad water to great coffee beans, you end up with terrible coffee. Use great water for average coffee beans. Your coffee still turns up amazing, does it? Wait, I thought she was Taka. Coffee that doesn't come from the toilet. Okay. All right. It <laughs> Snow White. That's not capitalized. This isn't some fantasy story where a wrong choice can kill you, right? Yeah, seriously, I thought she was the person we're talking to, and that we're question marks. Okay, to be honest, I don't drink coffee often, which is quite ironic because my father is a coffee expert. I guess we're stuck with this voice. Oh, is he? Good at his trade, I assume? I think he's pretty good, but I don't really know. I don't see him that often. He's always traveling around the world. He says he's looking for the ultimate coffee bean, whatever that is. Kopi Luwak. It costs three hundred dollars an ounce, and it comes out of a civic cat's ass. I look. I look at the coffee in my hands. If you're not a coffee geek, then I suppose the origins of this coffee is lost on you. Origins is. Ooh, intoxicatingly satisfied. Never have I drank a cup of coffee which gives out a mouthful of natural chocolate flavor. There isn't even the slightest hint of pungent bitterness lingering on my tongue. The cocoa flavor was strong, but so natural. I started picturing a cocoa field in the middle of the jungle, where coffee cherries are grown together with the cocoa beans, being nurtured by the soil, the rain, and sun. 
Wow, this is good. I mean, I don't drink coffee often, but I can tell this is different. Yeah, a little bit more than that. Flowers and fruit. I'm trying to find out what happened to my mom. Oh, wonderful. I haven't seen my mom since I was six. Recently, I've been having dreams about her inside a coffee shop where my parents and I used to live. The coffee house was also named after me. I remember that coffee house. <laughs> Chances are you were named after the coffee house, kid. The words that were imprinted on the awning, which said Taka Coffee House. They named it after Takahata 101 and didn't want you to know. Every morning, I hear the sound of pulleys and the awnings would roll down smoothly like a toy train on its tracks. Then there were the green wooden chairs and small cozy tables. Ooh. I would sit on the floor next to them, pretending myself to be a drummer, clinging and banging on the metal frames. My parents were working busily inside. I would sometimes run out of the cafe and push my face against the windows, making naughty faces towards the customers. Sounds were always so steady, rotating with such consistency. Even as a child, I was captivated by the performance. I still remember the smell of coffee released into the air. And time seemed to freeze as I repeated that moment countless times in my memories. I can do this accent seriously. Mm. Then I would see my mom working tirelessly in front of the cashier, greeting customers with that friendly smile. Always so swift and full of energy, she's the sun that shines through the cafe, brightening up the mood of everyone she encountered. Lastly, I see my own reflection on the window, and I would start making funny faces to myself until Mom would finally come and grab me. <clears throat> Most precious piece of memory of all. So my mom turned around and met my dad's gaze, and she would smile and look at him as if nothing else mattered anymore. I mean, I was standing right there, but it was okay. And my dad would do the same. That's how I learned what love is all about. It's a good thing I can read facial expressions. That was it. On my sixth birthday, when she suddenly disappeared from my life, my dad will never tell me what happened. My dad, he became aloof, distant, and cold. He's never there for me anymore since that day. That's why sometimes I'll let my dreams take me to happier times. You can control your dreams, that's nice. When I can see my dad and mom happy with the family again. Mom! Okay, that gives us an idea as to where we're at. N now it's mom again. That little piece of memory, I, I cling on to it dearly, as it's the only piece of memory I have about my mom. The rest is all a blur, and even this piece of memory is slowly becoming distant and alien to me. The sounds, the vision, the smell, I, I try to revisit it every night so as not to let it fade. Or, so I thought. <sighs> One day I was tidying up Dad's room when I stumbled upon an envelope embroidered in colorful floral silken patterns. Inside was a letter addressed to my dad. Richter? Good God, she's a Belmont. <laughs> Dear Richter, it pains me that written words are the only form of communication that would be feasible at present in regards to matters of our future, which I find to be insufficient, as it does not convey the agony in my heart. I was born in Edo. Okay. Edo? Okay, then. But this city is my home, and I will not leave this city in search of a hollow peace of mind. For what will become of us if we forfeit our duties to our, towards our friends? We become hollow in existence, forever condemned to eternal regret, reminiscing on a decision we cannot rewind. I hope to hear your answer. I look forward to Taka's sixth birthday, in which I will be back. I hope we can be family again. The love of your life, Sarah. After reading the letter, I could not contain myself any longer. Nothing made sense. I had to go and search for answers about my parents, answers that I should have went and searched for a long time ago. 
looking forward to her sixth birthday. Or his. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still stuck on Taka being the weird looking girl on the plane. But, uh. The only thing I could piece out was the city of Edo, now known as Tokyo. Yeah, she's looking forward to being there for Taka's sixth birthday. But Taka said that the sixth birthday was the last time they saw their mom. I did not know why my mom would use the term Edo, but regardless, it was my only solid, my only piece of solid information. So I'm on this plane making my way towards the other side of the world. Interesting. Interesting. I thought I was running that all in my mind. Did I accidentally tell her my life story? You told her two things. Yes, you said your name! Whereas she's just mm, at you the whole time. Plane is making an abrupt descent. Thundering screams from the back, front and back. Oh, yeah, she's seemingly oblivious. Whew. She keeps looking at me, and as I once again glance towards her, I sense something sinister with how she curls her lips towards me. Free hugs before we die? Right, we're gonna die. Can we at least hug each other and spread some love? What? Everyone wants to feel attached to someone meeting their death, right? Oh dear, I was wondering how you would react, but never did I think you're the kind to make such outrageous statements. <laughs> it's just some turbulence. Believe in what? I am not really interested in her answer, because there's a hole on the plane, sucking everything out into the unending sky. But she answers me calm believe in caffeine. That's when she unloosens my seatbelt. You go flying over her, probably hitting her in the face multiple times. Strong force pulls me out of my seat. My body is thrown out into the deep blue sky. Clouds keep falling towards me, the wind blowing towards my face. I try harder to maintain consciousness. Deafening screams of the wind sound like an invitation from the devil, an invitation towards death. Everything is in vain. My life is going to end it. I will never be able to seek the answers I'm trying so hard to find. I'm scared. I don't want to die. What do you think it's just started? I haven't done. Why? Just when I finally find the courage to face my past, just when I finally decide to do something about my life. Taka, Taka. Slowing down. It is what heaven feels like. Caffeine will show you the way. Believe in yourself. Believe in caffeine. Believe in caffeine. Oh my god. My last thoughts, and I'm going insane. Okay, I can hear a song playing, but I can't make out the lyrics. Oh, it's latte art. We're flying through latte art, people. Meow. I couldn't remember for how long. I felt like I have been asleep for a long, long time. I felt water rushing into my lungs. There was a moment where it felt like I was drowning in the ocean. I started feeling soft sand beneath my back with gentle waves pushing my body deeper into its embrace. <sighs> now I hear seagulls calling from afar. My signs gradually disappear. The softness of the sand gives me the comfort of a feathery cushion. I was sleeping peacefully on a soft feather pillow. I'm now sleeping peacefully on a gigantic seagull. And I open my eyes. Where am I? Am I in heaven? Is this what heaven looks like? Kinda dull. Is that a fine red bricks? The set of a broomstick sweeping the floor? Am I in Dickensian heaven? Close my eyes. 
Uh, and I open them again. I'm still here. So I like to get my head to have a better look around the room. And then I see her. Shadows of a young girl with long hair and a reddish hue, tied up in a ribbon, held up by a yo-yo on both sides. Just green, humming a tune. A yo-yo? Everything's kind of calm and serene. She's like a guardian angel, quietly sleeping the floor. I can resist the urge. I pull myself up and whisper in a low voice. Mom? She slowly turns her head around. A bright light is shining out from her whole body. Magical, pretty, and bright. She smiles at me. Just beautiful smile I've ever seen. Seeing this atmosphere, it's like a turn back into time, reminding me of the past that is long gone. I still do not know where I am, but at this moment, I feel safe. I feel calm, and I feel like a new adventure has just begun. Beginning a title splash. Oh, that would have been the perfect time for one. Hmm. <clears throat> Searching for signs of paralyzed limbs. Hmm. Wouldn't something like where am I or who are you be more appropriate or what happened? Okay. Marshmallow, what the heck are you doing? Uh, am I in heaven? Oh, there's the yo-yo. Okay, it's up there. No, silly, you're alive and safe. You were very lucky to survive that car, with, that crash without an injury. It's been a terrible experience for you to come from so far away to Victoria and then end up in an accident like that. But thank caffeine you're alive. Please rest, I'm sure you need it. You can probably still see the smoke if you look out the window. It was a sight when the airship blew up in flames. Wait, wait. Airship. You're on that airship, right? Ran out to the harbor immediately when I saw what happened and found you lying on the beach. That, that's not it. I was on a plane from Seattle, not an airship. Okay, I call bullshit. You are not going to be able to get on a plane from Seattle or anywhere in the United States with enough water with you to make coffee. <sighs> Seattle? Where's that? Uh, Seattle is in the States. The States? Oh, I know what you mean. You're from the West Coast States, aren't you? It's not called the West Coast States. It's the United States of America. Although Seattle is on the West Coast of it. You guys, I... That's a really strange name for a country. Are there any famous baristas born there? This feels so weird. How can she not know what the USA stands for? She's speaking in perfect English, so it can't be a language problem. I am going to go back and forth with their accents. I know this. Take another look at the room. The archaic wooden ceilings and floor. The gas lamp that's hanging on the ceiling. This room looks straight out from the historical drama. That's... That looks electric to me, what with the little wires going to it. Well, a polished mechanical clock with gold and red yes. Oh, I see. The clock stopped running. It probably hasn't been to turned for a while. That's a real cool mechanical clock. Really? It looks like every other clock to me. Every other clock? This doesn't sound right at all. Uh... Why don't you ask me about famous baristas from my country? Because if you mention some names, then I might know which country you're from. Okay. But you could have asked about famous politicians, TV stars, or athletes. Isn't it a bit strange to ask about baristas? It's not strange at all. Of course you ask about famous baristas. Baristas are such important people. No way. I mean, we have so many famous singers like 
Beyonce, Bruno Moon, <laughs> the Y-Phone, <laughs> Guguru, Amazon. Sorry, but I really don't know what you're talking about. What about, what about famous coffee houses? Are there any famous coffee houses from the USI? Uh, Spartax. Is this a, a really popular fast food train called McWobbles? Where's McWobbles? I don't know the coffee house Spartax. That sounds so weird. Sounds like you're from Sparta or something. Hmm. Let me just say this mechanical. It's, I told you I was going to mix up their accents. Why did you say this mechanical clock is ordinary? It looks really expensive to me. It's not really that expensive. Every house has one like it. Really? I thought everyone was switched to looking at their smartphones right now. Oh, speaking of my smartphone, where is it? It's not in my pocket anymore. I guess I lost it. I don't really know what you're talking about. What's a smartphone? <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Ish. Hey, where are you going? I want to go and have a look outside. Maybe the blanket covering myself and realize I'm only in my underwear. I'm so sorry! Oh no, I forgot to tell you I've prepared some new clothes for you on the chair beside you. It's weird clothes. Let me see the weird clothes. Vest, woolen suit, black cap. <laughs> okay, I we all know by now Marie Antoinette was not the person who said let them eat cake, right? <laughs> it was uh, just attributed to a German princess, but it was said before she was not really. Bef I, I don't think it was before she was alive, but before she was like relevant. And there's nothing linking it to her. <laughs> okay, this says menu, but then the second one says what? Passovers? Pascafins? Passovers? Amazon coffee? Oh, there's a picture of the um, Golden Gate Bridge. So that's setting this in a really weird time frame. Because the Golden Bra Gate Bridge was made in, what, the, the 30s or something? I don't know. Let me, let me look. I shall look this up. Eh. Yeah, come on, for God's sake. Looks like there's oh, there's someone with a fez. Oh, jeez, that shield in the middle has. Oh, excuse me. Has writing on it as well as an infinity symbol. Is that the Sydney Opera House in the picture closest to the stairs? Okay. Okay, 1930s. Was when the was when the uh, bridge was was made. Sydney Opera House. It was, uh, yeah. Sydney Opera House opened in the seventies. Y'all look great. Well, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Alice. I'm the owner of this coffee house. You were already talking about Alice in the narrative. <laughs> Your name's Taka? The coincidence this coffee house is also named Taka. Let's just look at the sign outside. It says Taka Coffee House. Well, you got those tables and the green chairs. This coffee house is called Taka Coffee House. Look around the shop. Everything about this coffee house looks eerily familiar. Even the little green banners along the roof or the ceiling. My heart starts to pound like a beating drum. My lips tremble, trying to find the words to express myself. There's a sense of nostalgia. That can't be. I'm not prepared for this. I 
run out of the coffee house. This can't be that awning. That's the same green awning my mom used to roll out every morning. That's the same window I used to stick my face against every time I'm playing outside the cafe. I look at the green awnings again and see the words talk of coffee house. Shouldn't that have stuck out to you first time you saw it? I stare for ages. My eyes water and my vision starts to blur. I've come back, but I did not expect this, but here I am. I'm peering into a vision of happiness that's long gone. Are you alright? I really don't know what to say. I remember this place. Maybe you should come in and take a seat. We're just spontaneously back there. Here, try some of my pastries. I know they're supposed to say pastries up there, but there's clearly a V in there. <sighs> we have a lot of leftover pastries today. Everyone under the harbor wants the news about the airship crash spread, so very few customers came. There are all a bunch of... Ah, what's it called? Ambulance chasers. That's the term I was looking for. Grab a macaron and take a bite. Oh, I have to say, this are really good. I take another one and keep eating. Oh, sorry. I guess I was a bit hungry after everything that happened. These macarons are really good. Thank you. I'm so happy you said that. But I still have a lot to work on. I need to work on the texture, and this time I might have made them a little too sweet. But the, I tried the macarons from the Royal Pastry Shop, and the texture was so much better. Oh, they're not yo-yos. They're macarons. <laughs> That's why I need to work hard. My dream is to become the best pastry chef in the world. <laughs> At first, I need to make sure this coffee house doesn't close down. It's just we haven't been able to hire a barista. None of the baristas that work here were able to last more than a month. See, this place is cursed. Several baristas worked here and left under unfortunate circumstances. I quickly grab onto the edge of the table to prevent myself from falling. That's called a sugar rush! How are you feeling? Not too well, to be honest. No, you definitely need a cup of coffee. So you don't have a barista, I can walk you over to the nearest coffee house. You've got stuff right there! <laughs> Is it just for decoration? That's not a narrow alleyway. So, Alice, tell me the truth. Who hired you? What do you mean who hired me? I already told you I'm the owner of Taka Coffee House. No, really. You can't fool me. Look at this place. This is a movie set. All these buildings can't be real. I mean, who makes water pipes curve like that? Curve like what? Look at that funny building over there. It's like the architect was on drugs when he designed it. I know I'm in a prank show. Just cut it off. I'm already expecting a dozen Yakuza's to run out and chase me down the street. That would be a hell of a weird TV show. I'm ready for it. I'm not scared anymore. Come for me. Come for me. Oh, dear. We better hurry up and get you that cup of coffee before you go entirely insane. I mean, I guess maybe a coffee-based economy isn't the best thing to do, but... <laughs> Ooh. Got a coffee speakeasy going on in here. Oh, darn it. I clicked on it. Chris. Hello there, Chris. From Striatum City. It's been a while. I'm going to think of a voice for this person. And I will be right back. Hi. <laughs> I had food on the grill. 
And not only uh, did I have to go turn it, I also, um, <laughs> it's raining out. Yes, indeed. Our coffee is definitely on the more luxurious side. Yeah! <laughs> you scared me. I apologize. It seems that I've yet to master the technique of greeting people. That's all right. Can you help us brew a coffee with a strong floral scented herbs for my friend here? He survived. Oh, he! I'm actually. I am playing as a guy. I don't care. I'm doing Valley Boy then. <laughs> he survived the airship crash and is badly in need of something to revive him. You really should have taken him to the hospital, Alice. Oh my god, we've been through this before. I'll get it prepared now. Judging by your friend's condition, I would suggest a single origin Axumite coffee from the. Yerga Chef region. Please take a seat first. Hey, don't sleep here. The coffee will be ready very soon. I think this couch has way more healing powers than coffee. <laughs> Fifteen minutes have passed. There is no sign of my coffee. Do I have to summon it using that thing on the wall over there? Because, I mean, I, I don't quite know how to do a summoning array, but I can give it a shot. <sighs> Alice, everyone here seems really well dressed. Of course. Moria Coffee House is the most prestigious in Victoria. One of the first to be established and founded by the legendary barista Moira Sensei. Sensei. Said the founder of the city queen Victoria herself frequented this coffee house. Just can imagine how prestigious this place is. Okay, for a second, I thought we were in Victoria, British Columbia. The queen you just mentioned? Come on, everyone knows Queen Victoria. Although I guess at this point it's reasonable to assume that this is someone else. Criticize my founder could land you the guillotine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Victorians are not that unreasonable, but you should still be careful with your words. People get angry when you speak of the founder. She's a shining light in our darkest hours. As she's long gone from this world, she lives among us in spirit, forever blessing us with the power of caffeine. You know, the actual, the Queen Victoria of England, she had a pet gray parrot named Coco. <laughs> and apparently at one point, um, um, someone presented her with a parrot. And she spent, it was either presented to her or there just was one there. And she spent more time talking to the parrot than she did at this, like, the, dealing with anyone at this social function. The power of caffeine. Here is your single origin coffee. Enjoy. That took a while. Ah! I'm sorry you felt that way, sir, but we take our time to brew a coffee and it's already adheres to the highest standards. We hope you will also take your time to appreciate what we have brewed for you. Wait, all right, I'm sorry. I appreciate it. How come maybe you should have the coffee now before it turns cold? This is the legendary pigeon milk coffee, and you have to drink it immediately, or else a giant man-sized pigeon will descend from the sky and peck your head clean off. You're drinking it so carelessly. The caffeine won't work if you're not paying attention. Sorry, but... First, you need to put it close to your nose so you can detect the aroma. Now, what do you smell? I take a sniff. I smell lemons. It smells like coffee. What else? Is it flowery, herbal, smoky, or nutty? Mm. Now, now that you mention it, I do smell something kind of fruity. <laughs> now remember, 
remember that aroma and take a sip. Feel the texture of the coffee. It got the texture of water. Remember to use your tongue, front, center, and back. That's going to be a screenshot taken out of context. Mm. It's actually very accurate to the lemonade I've been tasting. Seems like the coffee is getting rid of all my fatigue. I feel so alive now, you know what? I feel like singing. I feel so alive! I feel so alive for the very first time! Um, do I have to control yourself? Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> right, Taka, so you've really recovered. Okay, Edward, you can take off the fake mustache. We know it's you. Mr. Enigma, come on. We know it's you. You're the only person who wears green and highlights of purple. <clears throat> Later, Stanley, I've been wild with five you here. I've come and channel you to a coffee duel. <laughs> it was such a beautiful, peaceful day. It seems that I just can't enjoy a cup of coffee by myself, can I? Do I even know you? Enlighten me as to why I should accept your challenge. I dare you pretend not to recognize me. I'm the barista who works at Steam Town. The coffee house you just gave a terrible review. I demand an apology for ruining my reputation. The people around me start chatting with each other. They seem more excited than anything else. Uh, oh, okay, this is all different people. Oh, I remember now. You're the barista who claimed to have invented a new kind of coffee. You lad. Let me see if I can recall the name. Oh, yes. The avocado latte shirt served in an avocado shell. You claim that your coffee would help me lose weight. I can see why. Because I vomited. <laughs> I could barely eat a slice of bread after having your latte. And I dare you insult me again. I spent two months experimenting to develop my creation. You will show some respect to my efforts. Two months? Before you could brew that piece of rubbish? Don't make me laugh. Oh, that's what's happening here. It's Lady Stanley. She's being challenged to a coffee duel. From what I just heard, Lady Stanley gave a very negative review towards the barista's coffee house. Yeah, and Marista couldn't stand the insult and is now challenging her to a duel. Yeah, I think we'll bet her on Lady Stanley to win. Uh, who's Lady Stanley? Is she a famous barista? No, okay. She's not a barista, she's a cupper. And a cupper from the original five families as well! Hey, what? The five families are the cuppers that fought alongside our founder, Queen Victoria, who founded the city 200 years ago. Duh! Lady Stanley is the current title holder of House Stanley, and we all know her abilities in caffeine are extraordinary. Mm. Well, none of those seem appropriate. No, is there, wouldn't the, a more appropriate question be, like, <laughs> you know, what are these powers? Is it really a power to make a really good cup of coffee? Uh. <laughs> Just me beat up the guy. 
You've been told multiple times it's a coffee duel. <laughs> Did she just read my mind? What are you thinking just then? I guess I should try closing her mind. Closing my mind. I really don't know what's happening. But I say really the Stanley one's longer, but it's no longer focused on me. Fine, let's make this quick. I still have other tasks to attend to today. Don't underestimate me. I'm sure the days of couples like you are over. So... <laughs> what kind of duel is this thing? You've been told multiple times it's a coffee duel! Espresso shots. I see, so it's an espresso duel. <laughs> Are they gonna keep drinking espresso shots until one of them ends up in the hospital? Huh? It's not like that at all, just watch Tucker. Too out of touch, you're in trouble deciding what to see with this fine glass and espresso. So, does anyone who says espresso get executed? Um. Also, your buttons are leaking onto your vest. The blue fireball grows until it's the size of a football. The flames fly towards the ceiling. The fireball flies towards Lady Stanley with a growling howl and engulfing her to see a flames. What? What? Uh, I have that from the perfect near. Yeah? I don't know what you did to hear. You have killed her all because of a latte. Now he's talking. Looks like I. <laughs> Everyone surprised? Isn't she like the powerhouse? Is that all you have now? It's impossible. Those are blue flames hot enough to melt steel. How'd you come out unscathed? Tell me, did you just say that espresso shot was brewed with cola coffee? <laughs> I have got her accent art. Did you just say that espresso shot? A brew with cone coffee beans with an extra caffeine kit? Yes, why ask? Nothing you said was wrong, it was just a little brief. A little brief? What do you mean? Half a year ago, in the middle of summer, a minor eruption covered the kingdom of Hawaii with a thin layer of ash. It blew straight into Mauna Loa, allowing for a small amount of sunlight to pass through despite a lack of rainfall. Just the perfect amount of sunlight to warm the coffee chairs. The ash also brought some unfamiliar qualities of acidity to the soil. That acidity brought in new flavors unknown to Kona previously. The taste of apple cider vinegar. That sounds disgusting! Apple cider vinegar. She couldn't taste anything like that. Of course, you can't. It's subtle, but it's there. Not forget who I am. I am the master of telepathy, and what is the flavor that corresponds to telepathy? The barista sweated like a bad sourness. Yes, natural sourness, citric fruits with flavor notes, clear and bright, is my cup of coffee. Besides telepathy, what does the taste of sourness bless you with? A sore tongue? You sucked in all the energy I just blasted towards you. You finally realized, did you? Yes, I've collected every single drop of energy from your fireball. I now have it stored inside my palms. And now I'm going to return it to you. Hey, you know who unified the kingdom of Hawaii? Playing. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your voice sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name? Oh goodness. Mixing up accents again. Where have I heard that name? That voice before. That was brilliant! We were all expecting this to be a fire caffeine performance. But Lady Stanley managed to find the subtle acidic flavors in the espresso and completely changed the tide. I've never seen such an exciting duel before! But, Alice, is this normal? What do you mean, if it's normal? I, I mean, I was looking at his hands all that time, that fireball came out of nowhere. Is that the power of caffeine? I just had some caffeine as well. Does that mean I can punch out a fireball? I punched my fist up. I don't expect anything to come out. Of course, nothing came out. Tucky, you can't perform a fire caffeine. The coffee I just ordered for you doesn't have a pungent, ashy flavor. Do you know how the power of caffeine works? No. So you know nothing about caffeine? It's unheard of! Don't they have powerful cuppers in the West Coast states? Uh... Anyway, it's getting late. We should head back to the coffee house now. After seeing what just happened in the coffee house, that eclectic architecture doesn't seem like it's weird anymore. It's really hard for to believe that you haven't seen a coffee duel before. I should tell us the truth. I'm not actually from this world. I'm either dreaming or something about the space-time continuum is totally messed up. Somehow, I've been plunged into an alternate reality. Should I tell the truth? It doesn't feel like the right moment to explain. Besides, how would I start? Falling off a plane and surviving is already a miracle. Falling into a totally different world should be impossible. Can I expect Alice to believe a word I say? What about the coffee shop? One of my childhood memories. If I remember this place, then it can't be a totally different reality, can it? Alice, what year is this? It's 2018, but why are you asking? Uh, I'm just making sure you know that I didn't lose any memory or something. Nothing to be worried about. All good. All right, Tucker. It's the same year as my world, but. If not that said, the whole city looks antiquated. It's hard to imagine this is 2018. I mean, we got streetcars in my city. They don't look like that, but we got streetcars and light rail. Though, to be fair, I'm not really sure what the difference is. <laughs> what could have happened? This world's so technologically words. Caffeine? Magic? The ability to perform magic makes science less essential. So our technology has fallen way behind in this world. No, man, it's totally science. It's bizarro science from the backwards people, but it's science. <laughs> okay, well, that would explain why things like the Golden Gate Bridge and the Sydney Opera House are there. And, oh, jeez, is that that one train station? Underneath the Golden Gate picture, I'm reminded of like some tr huge train station in. It's either in London or France or, or uh, Paris, but. Magic? Mm. You mean caffeine? No one here performs magic, Taka. Magic is just a children's tale. <laughs> do lots of things. What you can do depends on your belief system. 
In Victoria, cuppers can perform a whole variety of feats that are impossible for people outside the city. Really? Shoot now, fireballs and fighting coffee duels isn't the only way to use caffeine. Caffeine can also heal your body. You can make you temporarily more focused on your work and can teleport you from one location to another. Oh yeah, we have that. We just, it just feels like it. <laughs> it's also caffeine that can turn water into ice or steam. It was pivotal in pushing Victoria into the industrial age. And you can do all that by drinking coffee. Different types of coffee have different properties. But in the end, it all depends on your ability to identify the unique flavors and aromas in your cup of coffee. So it depends on taste awareness. You were the one who spent all that time brewing the... No, wait, no. It was the weird girl, wasn't it? Or... I was so messed up at the beginning, I forgot who said what. There are hundreds of different coffee types. I mean... In fact, I have this right here. Yeah, this is... Welcome to the Blackjack Look Stuff Up show. Um, from the Arabic Kawa, via the Turkish Cafe, Cafe in French and Spanish, Cafe in Italian, and Cafe in German are remarkably alike. Uh, the Arabic word originally designated any stimulating drink. Coffee was discovered at AD 850, according to legend. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, in southern Ethiopia. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about how many types there are. It just lists uh, varieties of being Colombian, Costa Rican, Jamaican, Kenyan, Mocha, Mysore, or Mysore, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, it's East Indian, Santos, and Turkish. It says Turkish is a pulverized coffee. That's right, Athena, give me a kiss. Every coffee from a different continent, different region, different mountain or valley has a different taste. Even coffee plantations a different size of the same hill would be exposed to different kinds of soil. I learned that a kindergarten. Caffeine is the foundation of Victoria. You must be thick. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. Farming caffeine requires years of pilot training and coffee is expensive. You have some right behind you. Unless those barrels are just for show. A cup of premium coffee like the kind you just had is nearly a day's wage for most people. Caffeine isn't really for commoners like me. How did you intend to run a business? A day's wage? I, should, I, I feel so bad about you paying for that expensive cup of coffee. I should pay you back. <sighs> you don't have to repay me. In fact, you should stay here as long as you'd like. I can stay. It doesn't look like you have a place to stay anyway, right? And you're in no condition to be roaming around Victoria looking for lodging. The whole second floor is empty. The bedroom hasn't been occupied for nearly a year. Oh, you don't live here. So I wouldn't mind you staying here and looking after the place during the night. I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. Maybe if I stay at this coffee house, I can search for clues about my mom. My parents' coffee house, after all. There must be some clues hidden in the attic or basement or anywhere. Great, that's it then. We'll be staying here until you're better. Yay! <laughs> Yay! This is the happiest day of my life, I think. Uh, hello there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Constantine the Enforcer! Oh no, I forgot it's today. <laughs> you have to ask why we discussed this. Please don't close it down. I'm trying to hire a barista, but no one will take the job. <laughs> She's asking Apple. You have mango. Mango. You have no idea what's happening, do you? Coffee house hasn't sold a single cup of coffee in a month, and that's against the law. You could just 
put bakery. <laughs> it's just for coffee, the coffee house. You could just put coffee house in quotations. Of course, what's the point of calling a coffee house a coffee house if you don't sell coffee? <laughs> and why is no one willing to work here? Because of the curse. The curse. Well known barista curse of Taco Coffee House. None of my business. The fact is, you don't have a barista now. I'm obligated to close this coffee house in town. Now, continue to step outside where I lock the main door with this chain! Oh, please don't put everything into this coffee house. Can't close the town now. I'll have nowhere to go. You have a house, or you live somewhere. <laughs> This coffee house is not a piece of junk. Just to read. Tell me why is this conversation your business to begin with? I'm. It's too odd. Did I say I'm a time traveler? Is there from another world? If anything that would impress this guy here. I'm. I'm the new barista here. The new barista. You're the new barista. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best laugh I've had all day. <laughs> Brewing coffee for this last summer. My barista at Spardux never heard of this coffee house before. Well, it's in the West Coast States. Talk has just returned to Victoria from the West Coast States after being away for a long, long time. <laughs> To run out of ideas. Alice is pretty quick witted. Why are you people so large? Is it because I'm not knowing me? I'm telling the truth. Her pupils are super duper tiny. It's her irises that are enormous. The barista, you registered with the coffee academy. Uh, with the coffee academia. Coffee academia, what's that? That's so. You're not allowed to brew coffee in Victoria unless you're a barista, barista correct? Even at your house? <sighs> think this is a joke. Barista is the most prestigious occupation in Victoria. A single cup of under-extracted coffee can endanger the lives of our cuppers. Do you think you can just call yourself to be a barista? I can go and register now. Too late! I'm closing this coffee house down today. I feel like you can wait a few hours. No. Don't be like that. Give us some flexibility. The law has no flexibility. We're at non paper set in stone. You've either broken the law or you have not. But this is our life. There must be mercy beyond the law. Never heard of that. Wait! Listen to me, both of you. Stop arguing. <laughs> Isn't there a law that says a barista with a foreign coffee house experience that has just arrived in Victoria contemporarily work as a barista for 15 days? All he has to do is pass the barista exam in 15 days and he can continue to work here, right? There is indeed such a law. So I'm officially hiring Taka as a barista at Taka Coffee House. I thought you said you had already done that. You're not lying to me, are you? He'll register for the barista test and obtain his license in 15 days. That's certainly, all certainly allowable, isn't it? That is indeed in accordance with Victorian law. Fifteen days, that's it. I'll be back in fifteen days. But then you're still not obtained your license, and that's it. This coffee house will be shut down. Uh, you did it! You saved our coffee house! Just for now, what just happened? This license I need it. Barista license you need it before you can practice coffee brewing in Victoria. We just said this like a million times, you daft dummy. Tomorrow morning you need to head to the coffee academia and register for the barista test. Once you pass the test, you can officially be a barista. But you really plan to do this? You really plan to be a barista at this coffee house? I'm not gonna get I want you to get close to this stupid law. Though, if I somehow find myself transported back to my own world or timeline or whatever, you realize you are going to be sunk, right? 
soon. I owe you for taking care of me. I can imagine what would have happened if you hadn't taken me and helped me get better. I mean, you, I imagine um, someone from the hospital would have. <laughs> Don't say that, Talk. I wouldn't have left you there on the beach unconscious like that. You would have done the same if I were in the same situation, right? Uh, no, I would have taken you to a hospital. It's like a quest. You need to save this copy. Yes, before I find it. Thank you, Tucker. I can't believe her doing this despite the barista curse. Uh, what is the barista curse? Okay, so I'm, I'm imagining this is the end of the demo. I guess I'm silent for the coffee house. I remember so fondly from my childhood days. Same coffee house where my parents lived and breathed, laughing, chatting, room hopping, and serving customers together. Ooh. Have I ever up and up back here after so many years? Never, I still can't comprehend it. What? Um. Okay. Again, like la like yesterday, we just keep going on, huh? Italian meatballs, pre-made. I put them on the grill to smoke. That is really tangy. The last owner of this coffee house hired a foreign barista with a special trait of caffeine, the ability to jinx a coffee house. Kelly Dragon got fired in revenge, she cursed this coffee house. The curse starts to attack a coffee and lose one barista every month. Yeah, but how does it manifest? Unfortunate circumstances. You really need to elaborate on that. <laughs> and be a waiter instead. A waiter doesn't brew coffee, Tucker. Waiter, waiter who happens to brew coffee. That would be against the. Ah, jeez, I am so. Uh... Oh dear. <laughs> Bedtime, yeah. <laughs> Not many people can remember something that happened more than 20 years ago. I remember things that happened when I was two and a half. <laughs> okay, the only thing I see up there that looks like a badge is that shield. But you wouldn't wear that. Electrical engineering. That's... Why wouldn't there be female classmates? <laughs> okay, those look like electric lights. They have bulbs.
There were streetcars, they don't go up the hill? Interesting. Wouldn't a funicular system be more appropriate here? We're about coffee, though, ain't they? This is, a, again, a long demo. Okay, so it's a sailing ship, a shining cup of coffee with beans, and a, a ribbon and a rope. Oh, come on, bucko, you know what that means. A girl in a metal cap. <laughs> Antipodean, so it came from Australia? Turn of Azriel. I mean, Gargamel's cat? I already read all of this. <sighs> okay, so whoever made this game knows about the Hindenburg. A human shaped object. <laughs> <laughs> like weird and foreign. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she talked about telepathy. She was addressing what you had only said to yourself. Wait a minute. The woman on the plane had that same ability. I guess that meant we that means that we weren't talking to her that whole time. Raging <laughs> fire of Judah. I barely know what a syllabus is. I keep mistaking it for syllables.
<laughs> and they keep the beans on the ground floor. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, of course, it's a library. Do you have any children's books? <laughs> the Cup of Eternity. The pursuit for the cup of eternity that will lead us to achieve the... Okay, fine. Apparently I don't... My gullet doesn't work. I need to be dramatic. Super long demo. I thought it was gonna end like soon after the duel. Oh, see, there's that same star, but around it are more specific symbols. <laughs> more gym, less video games. Hey, that depends on what kind of games you play. God. Of course. <laughs> Not a mark on her, of course. Okay, I see you've taken Utena's basic, uh, the whole, uh, the Rose Princess, Rose Bride dress. It's been a long time since I've seen it. You've taken the basic Rose Bride dress and adapted it. Oh, that's the metal hat. This is all in slow motion, isn't it? Hehehehe <laughs> <laughs> Shipment of very special coffee beans. Ah. playing this but I'm gonna um I'm gonna turn off the um recording because this is already um over an hour long I'm having fun with it but it's like people don't really know how long to make a demo so I will give you fuller thoughts at some other point um probably um in the description because I um it's after 10. I'm falling asleep rapidly. Still haven't eaten dinner, aside from a couple of these meatballs. Um, excuse me. And again, um, this is a really cute game. It really is. <laughs> I just wish some of the options to 
as far as responses go, were more realistic. But, uh, yeah, I like it. It's very cute. I definitely know at least one person I'm going to be recommending it to. Netbug, you know who you are. So, um, I guess I'll see you later. I'm Blackjack Gaviani, and you're not.